And let's see, song of the day. Just start listening to a little music. I've got uh, Durango by JJ Kale on the repeat mode. Now let's see if we can. Oh, my feet. My feet do like cooling off. Easy peasy. And uh, yeah, no, no real blowdowns, no jungle gyms. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what that hiker was referring to, but maybe it's a head. Anyway, um, so for me, I would uh, definitely same the whole trail in one season for sure for a through hike. Uh, if you skip or flip, <clears throat> got to come back and pick those miles up the same year in order for me to acknowledge a through hike. So before you bail and decide you're going to skip miles, uh, think about that because it's not easy mentally to come back and maybe logistically <clears throat> come back on trail to pick up miles you missed. So, but if you don't really need that trophy, then hike your own hike, have fun, enjoy it. So these long trails definitely take a lot out of you. Uh, walking for four to five and a half months, depending on your pace, is not easy. Anyway, not here to judge, but only because I don't care. There you have it. And it's uh, amazing when you just keep putting one foot in front of the other, you definitely rack the miles up. So the first two years, you know, I completed the Pacific Crest, which is 2650. Then next year I came back and went a thousand of it from Mexico before I had had enough. That Sonora Pass, actually a little over a thousand. Um, and then the following years were bits and pieces, but I've been back on this trail every year for something. So, uh, and then in between the Oregon Coast Trail, which was 400, took me about three weeks. Arizona Trail, uh, first try, a couple hundred to Oracle. And then last year made it into the 500 range to Flagstaff, but then they closed the Grand Canyon for COVID and screwed that up. So I thought I was gonna finally get a through on the AZT. So anyway, to date, I think I'm just in the low 7,000 mile range over eight years but the bulk came the first two. Oh yeah, and then uh, the Arizona Trail came back in, I don't know, August to finish and got up over Mount Humphreys down the other side, got altitude sickness, just nausea, but took my appetite away and uh, I knew that going through the canyon, 9,000 on the north rim, and stays pretty high all the way to the terminus, so I just couldn't sign off on feeling nauseous or no hand or no appetite for three days. <laughs> Thanks anyway. So I guess that'll have to be rectified here. In Washington, the elevations aren't very high. We're higher in latitude, but lower in elevation. So I'm carrying meclizine. If I think I'm starting to get tagged, 
exertion plus altitude equals no bueno. I'll uh, start taking some of that. <clears throat> Meclizine basically is a motion sickness med. So for me, it handles the nausea. I don't get the uh, headaches and dizziness and that stuff, apparently. I suppose I could. Ten fifteen. This is the Two Lakes Junction. That's where I camped in 2015. Right over in those trees there. Everybody else is up here. It's kind of crowded. Anyway, it's uh, the trail here to the lake. I think is 0.3.4. I walked down because I was low on water, so I had to drag the water back up here. Of course. Anyway, yeah, that was. Uh, a uh, full gas hike from White Pass to here uh, one afternoon. Okay, well, I just come off a little uh, break there, had a little something to eat, and uh, decided not to walk the point forward down and back. To the lake so we're going up here 2.8 and uh, hoping in between there might be some a little seasonal thing running anyway there's Mount Rainier pretty I have about I don't know, a third of a liter that's enough to get me there I mean I could go dry for probably a mile or two but it, it just doesn't uh, doesn't feel very good when you know you have nothing to drink. So well, typical little blow down here, no big deal. Just step over, walk around, your choice. Well, here's a viewpoint, if there ever was one. <clears throat> I think the trail is going up that direction. It's Mount Rainier. I just made a uh, stop for water for on trail. Just barely flowing. It worked nice and cold. Because I don't know, it's all unreliable up ahead here. Plus, that apparently, I think, in between that and this, this has got a tiny flow to it. So, this probably would have worked, but the other was. Maybe just a little better. Anyway, sometimes those are the challenges that you gotta pay attention to. Where are you gonna get water from? And that's nice about gut hook, that some of the comments can be very recent. You can go back and see the condition of a water source <laughs> back in time, and if it 
gets back too far, you figure, shit, it's not happening. So pull wherever you can, camel up. Psychologically, it's just hard to go back. <clears throat> right now I'm going up. Okay, one o'clock, just left a little break spot in the shade, had something to eat, a little more to drink. Just uh, six miles and change to Chinook Pass. Here we go. Feeling pretty good. Bugs aren't too bad, but I've left my cool leggings on just in case. Oh, all right, well, we're gonna go up this hill here, so I'm put the phone away. All right, so I don't know if this shows up on video or not, but the white snowy peaks way out in the distance, that's the Goat Rock Wilderness. And uh, you can't see it because of the haze, but behind them is Mount Adams, which I took some pictures earlier that might show up on camera. Anyway, <clears throat> working our way up toward Chinook Pass. Uh, listed as seasonal on gut hook, but uh, Washington had above average snow this year, so this will probably run all year. Um, gotta love walking across on trail water. It makes it so much easier. Although my criteria is I won't walk more than 0.3 off, because that means more than a half a mile round trip. But anyway, so on trail water is the best. I think this is Dewey Lake, a little less, a little more than three miles away from Chinook. It's a big one and pretty. Lots of good swimming here. Ah, uh, 450. Well, I just missed a turn, cost me a half a mile round trip to get back on the PCT. And I'm looking at Chinook Pass, I can see the road. Probably can't see it on video. But it's right over there, right over the tops of the trees on the first ridge down there. So, I'm about you know, a mile and a half away all downhill, so maybe 5.30ish. Oh, I hate doing bonus miles. And I looked right at the sign too and I just misread the arrows. Good Lord. All right, here's another junction. So, God, God almighty. I think that's it that way. I'll double check though. 